Hello everybody, my name is Metin Kaliskan. I'd like to welcome you to my RQDA Tutors channel. Uh, this channel is dedicated, as you can see, to the software RQDA. Uh, by the way, I have done the same videos in French before, and some YouTubers suggested me to, to do the same uh, videos in English, and that's what I'm doing right now. But if you're a French speaker, do not hesitate to go to my channel, to the playlist, and to the French videos. Um, okay, so RQDA is a qualitative data analysis uh, software also called Cactus, which is a free software by the way. Um, first at all, I'd like to explain you the difference uh, between uh, quantitative and qualitative uh, data analysis. So basically, uh, quantitative is more like looking like a, a survey. If you are doing a survey or if you already answer to a survey, uh, usually you have to fill in some uh, quick questions like uh, checking the boxes such as are you happy, enough happy, not enough happy, very happy and so on and so on. And when you've done those uh, kind of uh, analysis, those quantitative analysis, you've got a lot of so software such as SPSS in order to make a analyze. Uh, a analysis, sorry. And this analysis is, uh, you, ca you can use a lot of uh, mathematical or I would say s uh, statistical tools to, to make a analysis because all the answer would be uh, organized into categories, as I told before, such as very happy, not happy enough, etc., etc. And after you can make charts and uh, other stuff like this. Basically, what is a qualitative data uh, analysis? Basically, it's like a interview. Uh, you are doing a lot of interviews, and after you are writing, you you, you write it down on uh, on a computer, for instance. And I'd like to show you my work. Maybe it would be more clear. So basically, this is my work. Uh, this was a qualitative uh, analysis, uh, sorry, qualitative interviews about uh, online CVs. Basically, I had to do 18 interviews about, um, about uh, online CVs and people had to answer to seven open questions. Uh, you can see here, see, so it's it's the interview number two, question one, question two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. And the same questions for all the, uh, I mean, I've asked the same question for all my uh, my interviews, my interviews. So 18 people answered to the same questions. And during those time, I was recording it with a recorder. And once at home, I um, was writing down everything on the computer. And now it's looking like that. So basically, it's totally different than a survey, as you can see. It's only text, basically. Yeah, even if it's in French, you can see uh, that uh, there is almost no numbers. And uh, yeah, w once you've done that, the question is, how can you analyze it? Before to explain you how to do it with RQDA, I would like to show you the manual way versus the, the using a software. So I'm sure uh, you are, if you are working in an office or if you are a student, in your pencil case you've got uh, highlighters such as those ones. And the first thing everyone is doing if you give them highlighters, they will take the red highlighters to underline every negative opinion about uh, the interviews and the green one to underline every positive opinion about the interviews. But imagine that if you are, for instance, uh, you, are, you have, yeah, you did 30 interviews and each interview takes three sizes. You can imagine that it makes 90 sizes of paper and you will underline only red and green. And at the end, when you finished, your paper will look only red and green. And it will be very, very difficult to make a good analyze because only having positive or negative opinion, for instance, is not enough. Okay, you may say, but look at that. I've got other highlighters, such as the pink, the orange, the yellow, and the blue one. For instance, if I'm making interviews about social networks, 
it's just an example I mean. Uh, you can take the blue one to online every opinion about Facebook, the yellow one to online every opinion about uh, LinkedIn, for instance, and the orange one to online every opinion about, uh, let's say, Twitter, for instance. But even though, if you have uh, more highlighters, those will not be, it will not be enough to make a good analyze because you've got only six color and this is really not enough. So you may have other pencils, such as those ones. So you've got uh, a bunch of more colors, but even though if you use those, it's quite difficult because look at those, those blues are looking quite the same. And uh, after you wouldn't be able to recognize which blue corresponds to which blue. And this will be also very difficult. And also imagine on the same line, if in one interview on the same sentence, someone is talking about Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn, how will you manage this? Will you understand, will you underline uh, one third in blue, one third in orange and so on? At the end, it will be totally messy and very, very difficult to get organized and to make a good analysis. So that's why I would like to introduce you the software RQDA. So RQDA is actually a uh, free software uh, which is under the BST license. Uh, it's working on Windows, Mac and Linux. So it's working on every platform. On the next videos, I will tell you how to install the, the software on Windows, then on Mac, and then on Linux. Uh, for Linux, I have decided to choose the Ubuntu distribution, but anyway, it's working on all distribution. It's also a GUI application. So it means that you, because you know, RQDA is working on the R, uh, under the R project, and usually when you when you already use the R project, uh, almost everything is done by command line. But RQDA is uh, very easy to use because almost everything will be done into the GUI application. So that's quite a, a good uh, good point. And RQDA is one of the only free software that is often maintained. So in the future, you will get, you will be able to, to update the new version and to benefit of new features. And also, uh, I written that it's easier than a manual analysis, and I will show you why later uh, in a couple of seconds. I just want to tell you that on the other videos, I will focus on uh, on the details about how to use RQDA. But first of all, I would like to show you how to use, uh, how it's looking like. So I will just open my, yes, I will just open my uh, R Studios because actually RQDA is working under the R platform. So you have to use, uh, you, you will see later, you have to, Okay, so sorry, I just opened this one. Uh, basically, you will have to, to download, as I wanted to say, uh, many softwares, but don't worry, I will explain you later how it's working. And as you can see, RQDA is basically looking like that. So this is, uh, this is RQDA, and you've got basically the menu, the main menu here, and many kind of sub-menus under here. I will just open a project. So a project uh, is like a interview and uh, my project, I just have to find the good path. So, okay, this is here. I will just open it. Okay. Okay, so now I've opened my project, as you can see here, and here on the files are all my interviews. So I've done 18 interviews. Basically, I will just open one. Let's take, uh, okay, this one. This is interview number two. And as you can see, there is my seven questions, question one to question seven. And on the question, you can see a lot of colors. And these colors are basically like they are called, uh, each color is like a code. This is called a code and this is like a highlighter if you want. So as you can see here, uh, I have uh, a highlighter for LinkedIn, one for Manpower, uh, one for visit cards and so on and so on, one for SEO and so on and so on. 
and I will tell you later how to do those highlighters. I will just take another one, interview number 10, and you can see that this is looking quite similar. This is looking like that. If I'm going on codes, so codes is like a highlighter, as I told you, uh, you can see all my codes. Basically, I've done uh, 128 codes, and you can see that on the manual way, it's quite, it's, it's kind of impossible to do a lot of codes like that one. So that's why it's uh, very much more convenient to use a software. And even on software, you can uh, put the codes into categories. For instance, here I have Réseau Social, which means social networks. And here I have the Facebook, the Google+, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Viadeo. So let's just see how the, the, the software is working. I will just click two times on Twitter. And here, if I click two times, you can see that every, every uh, people who were talking about Twitter are shown on this, uh, on this section. So you can see that interview number 10 was talking about Twitter and also interview number 15. So here you can see they talk about Twitter, about Twitter and so on. And imagine that even if you use like an orange color on a manual analysis, you will, to, to know who was talking about Twitter, you will have to turn down pages and pages and pages to find the Twitter opinion. And after, if you use Facebook, you will also have to turn pages and pages. But look, with the software, it's very easy. It's like, here you have Facebook. You just say to the software, hey, hey, you, give me all the, the sentence where the people were talking about Facebook. So I click two times on it and I've got all the people who were talking about Facebook. So here I, in, I have interview number five, interview number nine, interview number 10, interview number 11, etc., etc. And all those guys were talking about Facebook. So for instance, uh, if I see this one, so here you can see he's talking about Facebook, but he's also talking about LinkedIn, JobUp and Viadeo. And if I click on back, a new windows open and you can see that here it's on a line on uh, it's it's on a line on blue with the blue sentence and you can see that here i underline the same sentence uh, for facebook for linkedin for job up for viadeo and for uh, joindre url so basically i can make as much on, uh, coding as much highlighters as I want. And this is very nice because, you know, if you don't use a software, you can really not do that kind of uh, precise analysis. Okay, so I think I've explained you, uh, I gave you the main introduction. Later, I will go on, on, the data, on the details, such as using settings, the journals, files categories, and so on and so on. But now I think I've explained uh, the main stuff about uh, about this software. You have to know that there is also a lot of uh, non-free software. I'm thinking about NVivio, about Ethnograph, Nudist, and so on. But all the software are not really free. Um, okay, so I invite you to to follow me about the next videos. But actually, if you are watching those videos, like uh, I've done this video, the 22 of June 2012. Uh, you have to know that I won't be finished uh, recording until end of September. So during this time, uh, do not hesitate to subscribe to the channels. And uh, I hope you understand uh, what I'm saying. As I'm a French speaker, I'm not really a, a nat native English speaker. And actually, I'm, uh, it's the first time I'm doing an English uh, tutorial. So I hope you understand. If you want to add something, uh, do not hesitate to drop a line on the on the comment on this uh, YouTube videos, or even sending me an email to uh, kaliskan.metin at gmail.com. Uh, and you know, you guys, I'm very curious to know uh, why, uh, how you, you got to these videos and about uh, for what do you want to use uh, qualitative data analysis uh, what are you into? Which sector are you working, etc. and etc. So if you want to share your experience about uh, softwares, uh, qualitative softwares, do not hesitate to drop a line on the comments. Okay, thank you very much for watching that video. Cheers.